Hi everyone, it's Helen from Helen Chapman Handmade Crafts and we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to use a stencil and embossing paste to create this card here. I've got everything that we need and the stamp set that we're using is Heartfelt and that has two coordinating punches both hearts I'll show you on the back you can see it a bit easier one of them is just a plain heart and the other has a scalloped edge and these layer together so the scalloped heart is slightly larger than the plain one so you can get some really nice effects with that starting with the card base I've got a piece of real red cardstock here and that is an A4 sheet cut in half and then scored at 14.9 centimeters so we're actually going to have a temp fold card but a portrait temp fold card the main card front is a piece of Whisper White card stock and that's 10 centimetres by 14.4 centimetres and that's where we're going to apply our stencil with a little bit of masking tape. Line up your stencil so that your bricks are level with your card stock just put a couple of bits on the edges as well and you probably saw from the sample it's the shimmery white embossing paste that comes in a little tub like this a little protective bit is stuck there we go you see it's sort of a I don't know like a creamy moussey kind of texture and we only need a little bit at a time I'm gonna hold down the stencil and the card stock and the effect I want is for for there to be some paste along the right hand edge the bottom right hand corner and into the bottom left hand corner a little bit so using a palette knife I'm just going to apply that to the stencil And keep going over, scraping off what's on the stencil itself and hasn't gone through to the card and reusing that bit. And have a look, see if you've got any gaps. And finally just scrape off any excess and you can pop that back into your tub to use again pop the lid back on as soon as you can and there we go 
and also give that stencil a rinse as soon as you can as well just to stop it hardening so you can see the effect there I'm just gonna wipe down here quickly just to get off any that's just gone over the edge that gives a really interesting background to your card next I'm going to take the one of the heart stamps and it's the the patterned heart I'm going to stamp that in real red ink onto a scrap of Whisper White. A few taps. Firm pressure for a few seconds. And there we have our image. I'm going to cut that out using the plain heart and I'm going to cut out a piece of real red cardstock using the scalloped heart. You can do that while we're waiting for that to dry. You can see you get that real nice edge to that. And then using the plain heart, we will be taking off some of that pattern around the outer edge, but I really wanted the real red around it. You can see the bit that I've, I've cut off there. We can layer these together now. like that the sentiment is from the same stamp set so the heartfelt stamp set and i'm going to stamp that in real red ink as well a few taps a few seconds of pressure like so and I'm going to cut that out using one of the stitched so sweetly dies. I'll just bring in one that I've already done just so that we don't. There we go. The die cutting machine tends to play havoc with the camera. And then what I did was I just left. A little bit more space on the right hand side of the sentiment than on the left which will allow me to pop the heart into that corner like that I've also got a length of real red cotton ribbon and I want to have that so it covers the length or well, the width I suppose really of the card yeah like so and that's that's just under a 10 centimeters really and we can pop that onto our card with a bit of tear and tape. Now with the embossing paste it might be easier and what I'm just going to do here is to put the tape onto the ribbon rather than onto the card front. You don't want to be scratching off the embossing paste as you try to take the backing off of the um, tear and tape. 
So popping that in place. I'm going to adhere that to the card front with dimensionals. And pop a few onto the heart and onto the sentiment piece. And removing the backing. And what I want is to have a little bit of the ribbon showing just on the left hand side as well. Don't worry that we're going over the edge of the cardstock here because the card base is uh, slightly bigger. Which you'll see when we stick that on. Multi-purpose liquid glue. And we'll adhere that in place. Getting that as central as we can. And the final touch is a few of the basic rhinestones and I'm going to colour them in using the dark real red stamping blend. I'm going to use the brush nib and this is a really good way of making sure you've got embellishments in lots of different colours. You can colour the rhinestones, you can colour the pearls in any of the colours of blends that you've got. And then with the take your pick, I'm going to lift those up. A little bit of fluff or something on there. And pop them down onto the card. And one at the top there. Oh, you can just see there's a little bit of smudging there where the um, the colour hadn't quite dried on the rhinestones before I picked them up. So leave yours a little bit longer before you pick them up. But um, there we go. I've just I've just moved them along a little bit to. Uh, cover up the little smudges no one will ever know as long as you don't tell them <laughs> all right and just to show you the original again there we go there are a few different stencils available i'll just see if i've got the others up here to show you they come in a pack um, they're called Pattern Party Decorative Masks and you can ink through them or use the embossing paste. It's a nice sort of shapes one and then a kind of mandala -y type one and then the clouds which is really cute. Okay. There is a blog post for this card. I'll put the address in the description of this video. The blog post does contain the links if you would like to purchase anything that I've used in this project or any other Stampin' Up! products. If you've enjoyed the video, which I really hope that you have, please give me a little thumbs up, a little like and if you subscribe to my channel, then you'll get notifications of future videos for more inspiration. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye.